guys, in this video, we're going to talk about risk reversal strategies. Now, all a risk reversal strategy is, is that you kind of think about you're double bullish on something, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize a short option and a long option, and we're going to double down on being bullish, but our max risk is only going to be that we're going to get assigned 100 shares of this current stock. So you have to do this in something that you don't mind owning. So currently we're going to do uh, we're going to be in BP here. We're looking at our June monthlies and let's just say that you are bullish on something um, and you want to participate in a move higher, but um, you don't really want to go ahead and buy shares here. So you don't want to buy 100 shares up here at 26, but you don't mind owning them at 25. So we're going to go ahead and we will sell a short put here on the 25s in our June monthlies. Now, um, to what, what I like to do when we're doing these risk reversal strategies is that I like to start off with a long call that is actually under the credit I received for my put, because what we're doing is we're taking that short put and we're using that to, um, pay for our long strike. Okay. So what I like to do is start with something under this. So currently 39 cents is where this trading at. So let's start with an out of the money call that we're purchasing. That's below 39 cents. So we'll do this 29 right here. 30 cents. So I like to start and just kind of see where everything's at. Look at my Delta, um, probability of profit, et cetera. Um, and obviously this is a credit that we're receiving and you can see that um, I like to just kind of gauge where I'm at here. So our Delta is 45, probably a profit 70% um, positive theta because we're receiving this credit. It's only um, costing us uh, our max loss is going to be uh, $2,500. So that's going to be this 25 times 100 shares minus credit receives. That's 11. Um, and the buying power, it's only going to cost us about $400 in buying power to put this trade on. So we're going to start here. We're going to slowly work our way back. And you can see that if we go to the $28 here, um, you can see that our delta went up. So we're, we have a higher delta now. Our theta is just a little bit negative And our probably a profit actually went down. Um, that's because we are purchasing this for right around $10. You can see our max loss here to the put side is going to be those 100 shares at $25 plus this 10 cents that we're paying for um, a debit. So, so we kind of know where we're at. So now we have to kind of play accordingly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put on this $29 strike call here. Um, and what we're doing is that we're now receiving a credit for 11 cents and our max loss is going to be um, if BP trades below this $25 level, which we're fine owning shares because we don't want to buy up here. We don't want to chase even. And if we do think that um, BP is going to keep on going, well, we're still going to make money because now we're collecting all of this. And especially if BP does um, get above 29, then um, we're just going to keep on going um, up and up and up in our um, profit received because technically our profit is indefinite. And that's because BP we don't know how high BP can go above 29 by this expiration. So there's no risk to the upside at all on this trade. The only risk is to the downside. And that's just, um, if you look at it that way, um, you're getting assigned a hundred shares at those 25 puts. So if, if that's a risk to you, um, really it should be in something that you don't mind getting assigned anyway. So really you shouldn't look at it as a risk at all or a loss as well. Okay. Well, I, I bought it at 25. I didn't want to buy it at 27. Um, so that's how we're looking at this. Um, and you can see that basically, um, our, our theta is always going to be positive because we're receiving a credit for this. Probably a profit is high 70%. And that's kind of how you want to play these strategies. You can technically um, kind of bring your um, call Delta in and you can kind of raise your Delta here. Obviously you're going to pay more. You can see that we're paying 43 cents for this. Um, your max loss is going to be those hundred shares plus that 43 cents that we're paying for this. Probability profit is down 36%, but our Delta is really, really high now. So for each dollar that BP goes or goes higher, we're actually making more money, but also each dollar that um, BP um, goes down, we are losing that money as well. Um, and, and obviously our theta is negative because it's a debit as well. So um, different things you can do in here um, with this type of strategy, um, but it all just depends on your risk profile, how much premium you're trying to collect and um, 
what your end goal is with BP? What is your assumption underneath? Do you actually, I mean, are you fine getting assigned shares or not? Do you still want to participate in a move? Um, but, you know, just what's your assumption? What's your end goal with this certain stock? So there you go, guys. That's all a risk reversal strategy is. Nothing special. Selling a put, buying a call. Basically, you're just saying I'm double bullish and I don't mind getting assigned shares if I'm wrong in my assumption. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check us out on social media. We have attached the links to our socials in the description, and we also have a swing trading service if you're interested. There's more information in the description below.